and welcome to my channel. I'm Honest Mom, and this is my quarterly update on my minimalism game and what my house looks like. So this is me showing you very embarrassing stuff about my house and whether or not you think it's embarrassing. To me it is. So in the comments section, could you please be kind? I'm aware that I'm, I'm disorganized and that I have clutter in boxes and I'm actually hyper aware. If you haven't seen my video on my homeschooling update, I kind of cover all of the things I'm going through. So I'll put it in the description box below, the link to the video explaining other stuff in my life that's kind of caused me to um, not focus all of my attention on cleaning my house. So if you could just be gentle, that would be greatly appreciated. Now I'm just gonna get the most embarrassing rooms out of the way. Just. I'm already aware that this whole area is a nightmare. So yeah. Choose uh, kindness. Here is my monthly calendar for the kids, which some perspective is right where you, the camera is right now, right behind you guys, there is that small calendar and this is the monthly calendar. We're having a hard time keeping up with it, but this is where we keep it and the kids know what's happening on what day. Okay, so this is our hallway. I have closed the doors to focus the attention on the room. So I have a box here. Actually, I'm not gonna explain all of these boxes, but basically these boxes are a product from crafting in my office and decluttering my office and my bathroom supplies and my makeup, moving multiple times. And these are like a huge source of anxiety for me because none of the boxes make sense. They've all kind of just ended up a big box filled with random stuff. But there's things like my great grandmother's jewelry in there so I can't just dump it but I need to go through it, but it gives me anxiety. Here is our laundry room, and we have a deep freezer, and some paint if we need to touch up paint in our house. Uh, this area has actually decluttered a lot. We've, we're in the process of transitioning to wool balls so that we won't use those sheets anymore, but... We did get the wool balls months before we did decide to go vegan, so it feels wrong to throw them away. Right, I didn't even think of that. I'm not gonna throw them away. They do a good job. I understand the industry and how sad that is, but I already bought them. They do a great job, and I don't wanna throw them away to repurchase something when it's functioning, and would I repurchase them now as a vegan, an ethical vegan? No, but I already did it. In there. So this is the kids' schoolroom, toy room, library, Will's office. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. It is your office, whether or not you claim it, it's your office. So we'll start with the kids' area. Um, I have desks for them. During a school day, I will have them each in their own individual desk and the school supplies in the middle and I hop back and forth between the boys. Currently, I'm testing out a gentle parenting technique for the declutter. My kids have a lot of toys. I would say 90% of them don't get touched, but I have gone through their toys in the past and gotten rid of stuff that they care about. So my new rule in the house is every day that they don't clean up their schoolroom, or playroom or whatever, they have to pick five items to declutter. And it's actually gotten a lot better since we've been consistent with that. Uh, they can get rid of even things that I have attachment to. This area has gotten a lot better. If things were in a gr uh, perfect world, this box has their Legos. This has their like costumes and cars, mega blocks and random other toys. This is supposed to be their stuffed animals. But again, I'm gentle parenting and letting them figure that out. These chairs 
are from when we lived in Okinawa, Japan, and I haven't decided if it's something I'm gonna hold on to or not. It's hard to tell. There are four of them, but they all stack. And they squeak when you sit on them. But Frankie's almost grown out of them. Charlie's getting close to growing out of them. I am attached to them, so that's hard. This is our art wall. I need to update it and add more to it and all that, but. This used to be all full of kids' books. Just like this kind of kid. I have since downsized all of the kids' books to here, and these are like larger stories, and then uh, school supplies and art supplies, like their school books are all mixed in. So I've probably decluttered over half of their books, and it's I wouldn't say that we don't have enough, we have plenty, and we go to the library often. Up here is the things that we use for the calendar. I did have a place for them that made much more sense, but I will show you when we get to my boy's room. Basically, we had a piece of furniture in the hallway that held these, but we're changing the boys' room a little bit, so I used that piece of furniture as their dresser. And now I need to rehouse this and some extra paper and random stuff. This is Will's office type area. This is like a catch all random box of stuff from getting ready for the wedding, from clearing out the school stuff, from all the stuff. This is another random box that gives me a lot of anxiety. Down here is office supplies um, that Will had when he was going to school, and we don't know what all we're gonna hold on to and what we're gonna declutter. I use my purple ball for school and Will uses his black ball for when he's at his office chair or when he's helping me do school. Um, another random box. Since Will has stopped going to school, uh, this has been neglected, but it's also paired with the kids' more gentle parenting Thing Will has a hard time when this room is a mess being able to focus over here. Here's a keyboard that I've actually been using and trying to learn with and it's one of those things that the declutter has kind of inhibited because if I have extra time I feel like I need to be handling the declutter and not doing this and I've been trying to balance that a little better but changing to a vegan diet, decluttering and trying to homeschool, all the things. Um, learning a musical instrument is kind of low on that. I have a bunko bag. I used to run um, a group, bunko group for my church and I had to let that go as part of the minimalism thing. It was getting too much. Uh, and then we have an extra fan that the boys have broken and we're attempting to fix. And another random box of anxiety. That's just what I'm gonna call them. Box of anxiety equals boxes filled with random stuff that give me anxiety I don't wanna think about. Um, this is my kids' school cart. It has changed drastically since I did my homeschool videos, but it's the same basic idea, just to add in Charlie's schoolwork as well. Lots of boxes of anxiety in here. It's like the closet of anxiety. Yeah, we have, what I keep in here is party supplies, board games, homeschool things like cones for outside and a bubble machine. Uh, I have a tug of war rope, art supplies, and I just realized this is another box of cookbooks that I have. So that means I have cookbooks in three different places right now. Minimalism game. Yeah, so I'm working on it. <laughs> but this is supposed to be the school closet because I didn't want to overtake Will's office with my school stuff. All right, now to my office. This is, all right, so my kids were just fighting and I had to take a break to handle that. Gentle parenting is not easy and I fail a lot, but I'm working on it. <laughs> all right, so this room is a lot of anxiety for me. This is my office. This is where I have transferred my clothing because 
I've heard a lot of um, good things about putting your clothing in a space where you can see it all. That way you know how much you have. And the way that our closet is set up, I can't see all of my clothes there. My closet and dresser are detached from each other and I've moved, all, I've moved my closet in here. Also there's stuff in here from the declutter that I'm trying to sell and also that I'm trying to give to a responsible person. So they're not automatically just going to a donation center. This is like the leeway zone to get them to the next places. So that's another reason why it's a source of anxiety because as we get further into the declutter, this room gets more cluttered. And I'm trying to come up with a better system. I just really, with the amount of things I'm getting rid of, I'm trying not to just dump it all on our donation center. So behind my door, I have a, uh, my brother left some guitars with me and I've been trying to learn some. So I have two acoustic guitars. This one doesn't have this final string. This is an electric guitar and he's going back and forth on whether or not he's gonna come back to this area. Right now he's in Indiana. I haven't decided if I'm gonna try and declutter it or not. It feels it feels weird to declutter it if he's gonna come back, then he can have it back. This is the area where I'm trying to sell stuff or like this. The boys wanna play it so bad, but our anxiety has been so bad that we haven't been super present with playing games with them and that's our fault. So this is a yarn box, which will probably be decluttered, but I haven't gotten there yet. Um, this is fabric from a wedding, uh, packing supplies, because I used to sell for Macari. Um, this box is the box of toys that the boys have decluttered. I put them in here instead of with the uh, other two declutter things because they'll get back into it and they'll forget that they were decluttered, so I keep them out of sight, out of mind. And under here is another box of things to sell. This is the box of kids stuff I need to sell, or not sell, but give to my doula friend and bought a books to sell. This is my Cameo, my cutting machine, essential oils, books, makeup and hair supplies, which it looks really messy, but compared to where it was before the declutter, it's actually quite amazing. This is my uh, vanity. I've decluttered lots of lipsticks, I've decluttered makeup. Not all of the stuff that I declutter goes into the video because sometimes it's just garbage that I've held on to. Um, this is a box of photographs, which I need to organize in a way that we can access them better. This is the other guitar that we have. Those, this box right here is library books that need to go back that we've read sufficiently that, so when we go to the library, we'll take this box. Um, my jewelry and these, that's my homeschool organization thing. So the boys don't get it out of order. Random stuff anxiety corner right here. And then this is my wardrobe. I would say before the declutter, I easily could have stuffed this and had maybe two more stuff. So I have all of my hanging stuff, pants, sh pants shorts, pajamas, underwear, sweaters. This is pretty much all of my clothing right here. It's about to get another declutter because I notice things that I'm not using that I don't like. Then over here I have art canvases because um, I have a couple things I wanna do, but again, the anxiety, I haven't found time where I can justify taking that time to myself and or clearing a room to the point where I feel like I can be artistic and not overwhelmed and focus on what I'm doing. Um, so this was bought in a hope that that would come much sooner than it has. So hopefully uh, things get a little better soon. And again, I will say, even though it looks like a crazy house of overcluttering, I've come a long way. And then this is a mirror that I got that I want to hang up, but I haven't figured out where I'm going to do that yet. I think it's going to be 
on one of the walls that's covered with anxiety stuff. Uh, this is my flute and my flute books, yoga mats, things like that. Hallway. This is boxes of anxiety and my dirty laundry. And over here is kids clothes. My kids are no longer fit and I need to decide whether or not I'm gonna declutter or keep them for potential future kids. This is a wall mural that we bought really impulsively. Um, we haven't decided if we're gonna put it up or if we're gonna get rid of it, but it's supposed to be quite amazing. We just have never used it. 